Hi, I'm Craig. I'm a joker, not a smoker, nor a midnight toker. And this is Mental Floss Video. Today I'm going to answer Margaret's big question. Why is there a joker in playing card decks? Let's get started. Okay, joker's wild. You in? Ante up. Five dollars. Are you in? Playing cards have been around since the 9th century in China. They made their way to Europe in the 14th century. And the Joker card probably wasn't invented until the 1860s when it emerged in the United States. Those freewheeling Joker 60s. We can't be sure exactly why or when it was invented, but most experts connect it to the game Euchre. The game requires a trump card, so there was always a highest trump card. But up until the invention of the Joker, it had many different incarnations, which went by names like Bauer, Imperial Bauer, and Highest Trump Card. Or that card that's really really big, important. The first known example of this is a Samuel Hart and Company playing card from 1862 featuring a tiger. And an 1865 pack has a card with the text, this card takes either Bauer, Imperial Bauer, or Highest Trump card. The Bauer card probably evolved into a Joker because Euchre evolved from a German game called Joker. And this makes sense considering Bauer was also inspired by a German work. Plus, decks of cards have to be relatively generic, so the Joker was a welcome addition because it gave manufacturers a chance to design unique cards that went with their brand. Those poor board manufacturers. Some experts also believe that Joker cards were inspired by Italian tarot cards, which featured a character known as the Fool. This actually makes sense because the modern 52 deck of cards, which came about in the 15th century, may have also been inspired by tarot decks. Everything makes sense, guys. This is great. Jumping forward in time, after the Joker had been in the United States for a decade or two, it became pretty standard. It started popping up in Europe in poker games. Then it became a regular part of 52 card decks. And then it would just show up at parties with dip. It was well established enough by 1868 that in the book The Modern Pocket Hoyle, my nickname in high school, the Joker is described as integral to two variants of Euchre and the game Pedro Sancho, my other nickname in high school. It's worth mentioning that some have claimed the Joker may have been invented to be the wild card for poker, but most card experts believe in the Euchre theory. So just idiots. Thanks for watching Mental Floss Video, which is made with the help of all of these nice aces. You thought I was going to say Jokers. But if you have a big question of your own that you'd like answered, leave it below in the comments. See you next week. All right. Got a pair. Boom! What do you got, Mark? Royal Flush!